Um, this is like the perfect video to get to know me because what better way to get to know somebody than through their stuff? Oh, yeah. Look at me, where she wanna be. Call me Freaky T. Oh, off oh, the yeah. leash, I feel like a dog. I can't have the flea. Today is a, an exciting video because it is my 2022 favorites that I'm taking into 2023. The things that I used in 2022 that I was like, oh yeah, we're going to keep using those. They can come with us. They can come with us. All the other things, trash it. Okay? Keep it in 2022. 2023, these are the things that we're going to keep. So, have my handy dandy expensive $300-something notepad, notebook. Okay? And we just going to go down the list and we're just going to chit chat, you know, like girlies. Sit on the couch, get you a glass of wine, okay, get you a little snack. I don't have a wine because I already drank a glass this week. I'm not gonna do it again, but I got in spirit. Drink one for me, okay? Drink one for me. Next category, okay, we're talking tech. So, I, a little, little thing about me, I have a problem whenever I'm like either going through something or like I feel like I need to celebrate, I don't like go out or binge eat or anything like that i shop and i don't just shop i get like the things that are on my like oh i have to have this now list like my list that i've been wanting for like a year and years that i've been thinking about these things i'm like okay impulse buy i'm gonna buy it now and i might have taken months to like prep myself to buy it but best believe like if i'm ever like depressed or sad or like just in a good mood like something really really good happened to me i will subconsciously like convince myself that now is the perfect time to buy that thing that i like really really wanted to either celebrate or to like make me happy so this list could go on it really could <laughs> so the first thing on this list is not really expensive but it is my phone case so my favorite color is purple and over the past like year or two, I've been obsessed with lavender. When I tell you this phone case, I'm not like, I'm the type of person who will have like a different phone case every other day. No, I won't get rid of this one. It's just so cute and sleek and it matches of course my like lavender iPhone. Like it just, it's me, it's me, you know? So definitely like number one on my favorites list. Second one is my Beats headphones. So I don't have AirPods and everybody else has AirPods. And I was like, you know what? I think I want to get AirPods. But another fun fact about me, I lose everything. Like I am very, I'll, I'll lose stuff, okay? Easy for me to lose things. And the AirPods just look like something I will lose like instantly, like the day that I get it. And then be pissed off that I lost it. So, I just didn't think that like it would be smart you know for me to get the airpods so instead i was like okay i do really need another pair of headphones to work out in I'm trying to like get back heavily into the gym what headphones to get and i already had the like beats ones that like hang behind the ear and they're cute and all but they always fall out so i'm like okay it's time for an upgrade so i ended up getting the rose gold beats headphones girl I will never not work out with them things. They're amazing. They're just as good as the behind the ears, but like better. And I don't know how it could get better because the same company, but it is. It just really is. <laughs> and you know, I don't really know too much about headphones, but I know that they're pretty good. So the only problem is that I went and got the rose gold ones with the white on the inside. I didn't think. I was just like, oh, this will match my aesthetic. No, I should have got the all black. Girl, you're going to the gym. You're gonna be sweating in them. Like, I don't care how much I washed. I'm gonna be sweating and getting all my sweat all up in them headphones and it's gonna get dirty. And I just really didn't even think about that. So I'm gonna to have to order from Amazon, you know, another purchase. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to order the, the headphone cover things to put on the like ears, cause they sell those. So I've already got that in my cart. Cause I've been to the gym enough times for them to like already start to look dingy. And we ain't doing that, okay? I paid way too much for them headphones, but it look dingy. So no. Next thing on my list that is like, yeah, yeah, love this, is my MacBook case. 
So I was on TikTok and one of the, I'll, I'll try to find the video and if I can't find the video, I'll like eventually tag it in the description box when I do find it because I'm pretty sure I saved it. But there's this girl on there and she like has a really girly aesthetic and she found a rhinestone blink out macbook case and i saw it and i was like this case cannot look this good like in person it was just shining bright like a diamond i mean shining blinging okay like <laughs> i had to have it in my life so i went and purchased it right when i tell you when i tell you that thing shining and blinking like when I get engaged one day in the future, if my ring don't shine and bling like that case, send it back and send the man with it too. Because that case, it, it shines. Like the camera does not do, do it justice. How good that case shines. And like, I just feel so wealthy, bougie. Like that girl, whenever I just look at the my MacBook, let alone open it up. And I cannot wait to like open it up in public and be like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> like I just love that case I don't know it's just the little things like that that really just get me going okay it just get me going so that is definitely like really up there on my list of favorites from last year that I'm definitely taking into 2023 and I'm probably never changing my case like ever the next thing on my list is another expensive purchase like it's a little, it's a little expensive but okay it wasn't really needed but I promise you, it's my like, probably my most used, most turned on thing in this apartment besides like the basic necessity things. And that is my electric fireplace insert. That thing, oh my gosh. Like I know my IG stories and the people who follow me probably get sick of seeing it, but I promise you I turn it on every day and I will be turning it on in the summer. I do not care. It is so cute. It just gives you warm and cozy vibes. And my apartment is already kind of like, gray and white you know the typical modern apartment style well this fireplace like just warms up this place to me because i love a homey space especially in the living room like that's where you're supposed to be cuddled up and stuff like that you know so this fireplace really just brings that warmth to it and then on top of that it's not even just like an aesthetic thing it also puts heat out it's like a heater too so i know during winter time like my apartment can sometimes get kind of cold because it's like huge ceilings very drafty and airy this helps without me having to like change the temperature because it could get hot easy too and that just is like it just helps regulate you know what i'm saying so i i don't know if you got a fireplace in your place your apartment or whatever highly recommend i will i will put the link down below because yeah it is it, is, it eats okay it eats especially in the christmas time boy i had a time i had a time go get you one please the next thing on my list is the this like tabletop fire pit so i again with the cozy vibes like being able to make s'mores in my apartment I had to like really limit myself because I would make s'mores every single day if I could, if I could, but it's just so cute. Like you have a little date night or a girl's night or just like even a little party and have like a section. That was my intention is to have like a little section for a game night and it's just right there ready to like, you know, enjoy the s'mores and stuff. I just, uh, I love it. I love it. I've used it a couple of times now and I can't wait to continue using it. I hope it stays. I know y'all seen it on TikTok. Go get it. If you think about it, go ahead and get it, okay? I'm gonna tell you once, just get it. Last thing in tech, this is like, okay, this, let me say, this one is a little controversial for me because I had it before, but I ended up selling it and then I ended up getting it again, but it's the Nintendo Switch. Not the big version, the light version, the light version. I had the big version, right? The one you plug into your TV, sold it, sold it. Wasn't nobody coming to my house to play with me, Nobody was coming to my house to play with me. I wasn't playing with it on the TV. It, don't get me wrong. It looks so good on the TV. And it's sometimes like so fun to play. Like I had Animal Crossing at one point and I played it on the TV. I got the Nintendo Switch for the nostalgic games, right? The ones where like we used to plug into the, the Game Boy Advance, the Nintendo DS, those types of games. I love it for the fact that it's handheld. So 
I didn't need it to plug into the TV. On top of that, the one on the TV comes in the ugliest colors to me. And <laughs> the light version has like the cute girly colors. So I ended up getting the pink one and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed and not, not only am I obsessed with like the game and I played a lot more than I did before. I'm also obsessed with the game Stardew Valley. It took me a minute to get into it, but I promise you, I play it like pretty much every night. But if you're into cozy games, get get you a Switch. Get you a Switch. It's nothing like having my, my electric fireplace running. <laughs> Chilling on this couch under some blankets. Especially if it's raining outside and playing, playing my Switch. It's nothing like it. Like, it's really nothing like it. So, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. If you haven't got one, get one. Okay? Okay. Next, we're going to get into hair. This one's kind of short, okay, because I've really been experimenting with my hair. Um, not many of y'all know, I'll probably insert some pics, but I cut like all my hair off. Like when I turned 25, I am 27 now. So it'll be like this year going on three years of me like having short hair. I'm going it out now. So what does that mean? I'm going to cover it up because nobody needs to see that growing out process. I don't even want to see it. I don't even want my hairstylist to see it. But she got to see it so she can cover it up, okay? But it is a couple of things that I did, I guess, kind of like, and no surprise, half of them are wigs. So let's get into it. First off, this hair right here in my head right now, trust me, it has been in my hair since Christmas time. It's almost Valentine's time. And I promise you it's gonna stay. It's gonna stay right where it's at. I got an appointment this week to go get a little closure touch up. But baby, this these bundles are like bomb, okay? These bundles are bomb and they're from Amazon. They are from Amazon and both of like the hair thing, the hair purchases that I've made this year have been from Amazon. Like when the girlies say they eat sometimes on Amazon, Kino sometimes, they're not lying at all. <laughs> This hair just looks so good, like so good. And it's just so easy to maintain, has not tangled, barely sheds. And it's thick pretty much to the ends. Like the density is really good. My stylist didn't even put all the bundles in my hair because of how thick it was like at the end of it. So I'm gonna drop the link in my bio, I mean description box. And I'm gonna let y'all go ahead and get that. Along with hair purchases, my birthday hair from last year Bomb. another fun fact about me like you usually will not see me in dark hair i'm definitely like a blonde brown girly and sometimes red and like oranges copperish so but more than likely you're gonna see me in blondish brownish hair i'm definitely gonna give you beyonce like and i might just stay that way <laughs> But for my birthday, I definitely did like Beyonce highlight hair. Yeah, yeah, and it ate. It ate. So I'm definitely gonna drop, it was a full full wig. It wasn't a lace wig, it might've been a closure wig. I can't remember. I'll have all the details in the description box. But it was just so easy to just style, customize, and I suck at doing hair. Well, I suck at, no, I suck at doing hair. Let me just be real. I suck at doing hair. That's why in 2023 we're making the effort to consistently get our hair done by a professional. But um, I was able to install it. It wasn't the best, but it looked it looked the best for what I could do for it. You know what I'm saying? And it looked good. Okay, I loved that wig. I really did. So I'm gonna drop that one down in the description box too uh, for y'all. Cause yeah, I know it's kind of hard to decipher what is good on Amazon and what is it? Baby, these are good. So go ahead and click. Go ahead and click that link. <laughs> Last two things on my list, hair spritz. The IC particular hair spritz. I got, I had this hair spritz in my collection forever, like for the longest, right? And I'm pretty sure it was gifted to me from like my grandma and I never used it cause I just, I didn't know how to use it. But then the TikTok girls told me that like this hair spritz really lays your wig. And when I say they did not lie, they did not lie. Use it for that. That's what you need to use it for. 
it will literally melt your lace and i don't care how jacked up your lace is it's gonna melt it it really is i love it and it's probably the easiest like lace melter spritz that i've ever ever used so that's definitely coming with me this year and then the last thing that's coming with me this year the last thing that will probably come with me for years to come is the claw clips you want to walk out the house and look like you got your stuff together you know what i'm saying throw on a claw clip the ponytail at this point doesn't eat enough so the claw clip really just takes it it just elevates it up to that level to where it's like yeah I may be a high mess on the inside, but on the outside, this claw clip just put me back together, you know? Y'all will probably see me, and will continue to see me in claw clips in like every video, so I apologize in advance, but hey, go get you one too, and you will see why we can be claw clipped together, okay? Because that is definitely coming with me to 2023. Next category is houseware. There should be a subcategory in this category. There should be an Aldi's category in this category because primarily all of my favorites houseware wise has come from Aldi's. Aldi's has a lifetime shopper out of me specifically for that little section, that little aisle, that strip runway that I walk through and I find everything that I never needed but now I do. Every time. And the first thing being glass straws. Who would have thought that all these had glass straws? Glass straws. And I know, I know, what do I need glass straws for? I don't need glass straws. I don't. I don't, besides the fact that TikTok told me that I needed glass straws in my life to upkeep my aesthetic. But not only did Audi have them for the low, they were only like $5 for five, a set of six. They had the clear ones, right? Then they had the colorful rainbow ones just for the inner child in me. But that's not the only thing that they had me on. These candle holders that I have in my living room right now sold me. I went one, one month, I think this was like, it had it been around like May-ish of last year, right? Found it, got that one. And it's been like one of my favorite accessories, right? It's been all over my apartment at this point. So I was like, okay, I need another one. But I ain't never gonna find it, right? Lots found it again on sale in black. I just loved it. Aldi, Aldi really does it for me, okay? I think that's not even the last thing. It isn't. I got two more things from Aldi's. That's my favorite. The wooden tray. I have taken that picture so many times. My IG story's gotta be tired of me too. But that wooden tray gorgeous and it was only like maybe $13 I think max but that wooden tray is just so cute and it's been on my coffee table it's been on my bar it's been everywhere but like it's it's really cute and then lastly but not least this one is probably more functional and I've been recommending this to like everyone that I can but Aldi's has a set of velvet hangers for $15 a set of 50 if you ever in your life see it get it you will never get a better deal than that ever and I promise you these are the best hangers that I've ever had ever had and they come in just you know regular aesthetic colors like the the tan I think I might have got beige but they also have like black they have gray and I think I also seen white but yeah you cannot beat that I promise you, you can't beat that. A pack of 50 for $15.99? Girl, you better go get them if you see that. And if you don't need it, sell them to me. Don't raise the price though. <laughs> Keep it at $15.99, please. <laughs> Text the other people, but still go get it and let me know. Please, thank you, because I need some more. The next category is gonna be bags. This one also should be subcategory rolls. <laughs> And anything fashion should be so category Ross because nine times out of 10, I got it from Ross or Shein. So let's go ahead and get this one rolling. My first one is gonna be this guest shoulder bag. Girl, girl, I was supposed to give this bag as a gift to someone. Yeah, it didn't make it. I, I just doubled back and got something else because that bag is so cute. Like all, all the girlies are on this, like, you know, the Dior or the Prada 
or the Louis shoulder bags. No, Guess has definitely had my heart with that shoulder bag. It's just, it's really classy, sophisticated. I love the yellow tweed. Um, I love the brown strap. It's just really, really cute. And I feel like it elevates a simple outfit, can turn it into like a nice classy outfit. Like I just, I've taken it to church, baby showers, outings. It just, it just works. And it, and it holds a good bit of stuff. So definitely high on the list. Sorry, you probably can't find that one. I will try to link if I can find it, but it's definitely high on my list. And I just wanted to let y'all know. The next one, oh, this, my everyday bag at this point, my Michael Kors tote bag. So I was potentially going to get that, the tote bag by Marc Jacobs, but I don't be liking to get stuff that like everybody is obsessed with. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's like, oh, you gotta get this, you gotta get this, you gotta get this. The rebel in me is like, no, I ain't gonna get it because you told me to get it. <laughs> Only a couple of people need to tell me to get it. But like if everybody and their mama got it, like that bag and the tail for it, like it just, it was just too much for me. You know what I'm saying? So I love that bag. It is so cute and it's definitely a great alternative. Like if you like that style, but you don't necessarily like want that bag in particular plus on top of that it's not a like fabric material it's leather so it's just a little bit it stands up more it's a little bit more boxy and durable i like that the only con is that the bag does not have a zipper so your stuff is really just out there in the open and that sucks because i've been using it typically as like my work bag so i've been putting really really spent some tech in there but i don't know why I don't know how to fight. It's like, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, that really is a big con for me. Like, it is, but it's not enough for the bag to not be gorgeous. Like, I love the bag and I still carry it every day. I just, you just gotta be careful. Like, because it is, it's, it's all wide and outside. There is no zipper for it. So, you just keep that in mind if you think about it. But I will still carry it. It's still coming with me in 2023. So the next category of things that I'm bringing into 2023 is jewelry. So one thing that I, it's not technically like a 2022 thing, but it's, it's something I really need to tell y'all about, okay? And I need y'all to listen in, cause this is, this is some juicy tea. Macy's has the best rings, Macy's. And I get all of my like costume, but I still want to look like bougie. Like I got some coin rings from Macy's. I have this set of like, I don't even know what to call it. It's like human rings or something. I don't know. Regardless, I have this set of rings, right? <laughs> I love them. I wear them with every, every outfit. I promise you, it don't matter the occasion. And then don't let my nails be done. Then I'm really gonna be feeling myself. Like really feeling myself. I'm surprised I don't have them on right now but love those rings and i've lost them a couple of times and they're just so inexpensive like no matter how many times i've lost them there's always a sale for me to get them again every time like i think the most i might have paid for one is like 20 bucks and that's like minimum discount usually i pay like ten dollars you know what i'm saying it's it's really cute and you can stack them and then like they just they just go with everything Get the rings. The next one is a long one, okay? So get settled, get your notepad, get your drink. We are gonna get into fashion. Lately, I've been really getting into like athleisure wear. Like as you can see, I have on like a whole, you know, just chill bodysuit. And I love me a good scrunchy sock. And that leads me to my first favorite slouchy socks, okay? I love slouchy socks. Like. And I wear them, excuse me, all the freaking time. Like, to the point where my boyfriend is like sick of it because he just thinks it looks stupid. But he doesn't understand fashion, okay? He doesn't understand that we wear that. We wear the slouchy socks, okay? And it's like my uniform at this point. I love the whole slouchy socks look with the like sweats and t shirts or tank tops, hoodies. That's my jam. That's what I wear every single day. So um, definitely I got like a couple slouchy socks, but my all time favorite right now um, that are probably last me for like all this year as well are the ones from Target. 
I've been loving their slashy socks. Next on my list is the Target house slippers and I wear them all the time. The only other pair of slippers that I have that I don't wear as much as those are, and this is another one of my favorites, the Jessica Simpson um, slippers that I got from Belk not too long ago. And I wear those more, not necessarily because they're more comfortable. They are just so cute. It's something, look, I, I am coming to accept that I am a girly girl. Like I have tomboy moments, but I am a girly girl. And it's something about that baby pink with those pearls on top that just gives me bougie. Okay, it gives me that girl every time I slip my feet in them. I can have on the most bummiest outfit. I slip my feet in them things and I am, yeah. Don't talk to me. They they battling now for favorites um, in the slippers category for this year. The next thing on my list, now this will make like the beginning and the end of 2023 and it is my Reebok puffer jacket. I love that jacket. It is the most warmest, comfortable thing ever. And also the key point of why I love this jacket is because it has deep pockets. So I can fit my big bulky key pack in them pockets, my phone in them pockets. I could fit a whole hot pocket in them pockets if I wanted to. Them pockets are like legit and it's so warm and it just fits over like any outfit that I have. I wear the thing every day and it fits my little aesthetic right now. Like it just goes with the, you know, athleisure vibe that I usually have for my day to day look. Oh, I love that jacket. Now, I will say it was one of the pricier things that I did, like, buy clothing and apparel wise. It was like, I got out the out outlet, so on sale, it was like 60 bucks. But it was worth every every penny of that 60 bucks. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't pay it again, but <laughs> I was okay with paying it the time that I did pay it. So, definitely recommend that one. The next thing on my list is my she in body con dress so for all you girls that love skims this dress is for you this dress has me feeling so slim looking so nice i've worn it so many times now i love the dress i love the dress i love the dress get the dress get the dress it's worth it i can't compare it to skims because i don't have a skim dress personally but i will say if the scrim stress skim stress is as good as this dress get this dress over the skim dress the next thing on my list and this is one of the okay so this was like my birthday dress supposed to be but i didn't end up wearing it for my birthday because just kind of like ran out of time didn't go do the thing that i did want to do to wear it but that's okay because my birthday was still super lit but um it is this like sheer cheetah print dress from shein you most people probably wear it as a cover up you know what i'm saying it's it's completely like yeah you gonna see everything carol if you ain't if you ain't ready to you know take it to the edge don't wear it <laughs> but if you if you you know you enjoying a good little night out night i'm talking about it's nighttime darkness out you know what i'm saying and you ain't afraid to show a little curvature allude to the idea of but not show the idea of type outfit perfect for you i will answer some pics but i'm not trying to know for <laughs> i love it i love it i got so many compliments that night on it and like I said, even if you don't wear it as like a going out dress, you know, with something underneath it, I wore it with a really, really nice like um, control bodysuit, shapewear bodysuit, um, and it looked it, it worked perfectly. You know, it covered everything that I needed to cover and mostly just left out my legs. You know, so but if you still don't feel comfortable with that, it's it's a really, really cute for like. Um, swim cover up you can wear like a bandeau, bandeau swim top and then like swim bottom the next thing on my list is from Shein again <laughs> um and it's these jeans 
when I tell you I have I haven't bought jeans that I've actually liked in a long time I don't wear jeans like that like ever and I think most girls have kind of moved away from wearing jeans often but we're starting to get into like straight leg you know anything but skinny jeans so I was like okay let me try anything you know but skinny these jeans they fit so good and again I am like heavier in the bottom smaller than I am at the bottom on top so it's really hard to find good jeans that fit that ratio these fit I got two pairs and then I got another pair in the same same color same size shape and everything just different a slight different tweak to it just because of how much I love those jeans like they're a good pair of jeans and you wouldn't think that like she and quality would be that good but they are the price was very expensive it was only 25 dollars like that is not bad for a pair of jeans so i definitely would recommend getting those jeans and i'll definitely leave the link below this category is going to be the beauty and skincare category i have been on the hunt for like a really really good electric toothbrush and when i went to the dentist last they were like, Sonicare, get Sonicare. So I was like, okay, cool. I was already nervous, because I felt like if they recommended it to me, it's gonna be expensive. And it ended up only being like, I think 20 to $30. I'm gonna have to double check, but it was very inexpensive, like for an electric toothbrush. And this isn't one that I have to pop batteries in. This is one that comes with a charger with it. it, it and, and it's pink. I had to get it. I had to get it and I love it. I love it so much. Like it definitely does does what it needs to do. So if you agree, really, you know, like me and you want a cute little electric toothbrush, I definitely recommend go get that. Yeah, it's really cute and I feel like it's worth the price. The next thing on my list is a couple of like natural products that I have I you gotta get. Like if you're into trying to find natural products that are good for your skin, good for your insides, but actually work, because that's the key. Like do they actually work? Oh, I got a couple for you. One, the Urban Eden Natural Soap, and most specifically, their Neem and Chlorella Soap. That soap had a chokehold on me like nothing else. I tried a couple of the scents, but that scent, I love it. And it might be because I'm like, kind of like Irish Springs fan. <laughs> and I love like, kind of like more masculine scents, more like musky scents. This isn't necessarily like a musky scent, but it, it isn't like the sweet girly scent. They have a sample pack and you can get like a couple different other ones, you know, just in case. But I would definitely add that scent into my sample pack and just try it out. The next one on my list is the each and every deodorant. It is so good, like the deodorant lasts, and I don't know how it does it, cause natural deodorant to me sucks in trying to keep you smelling good. First off, it smells good, it smells great. Like all of the flavors that I've tried, and I've tried like the lavender one, and then like the rose one, they're mixed with other fragrances and i'll have it up there for you guys to see but like but the thing that really eats about these deodorants is that they last so long like they really do keep you from smelling stanking up like they really do i'm telling you me and my boyfriend went out right we went on a date to like this adventure type park where you do rafting you do hiking, you do mountain climbing, like you do all kinds of stuff, right? That we were there literally all day and I had put that deodorant on. Now mind you, it does make you sweat a lot, but I did not smell stink at all. You couldn't smell me at all, you just smelled the deodorant. Like that's how good it worked and I was sweating bullets, okay? I was drenched in sweat and it covered me. It really did like I that product was amazing whether you like natural deodorant or not I, I recommend I really do because that deodorant is bomb okay it's bomb but the next thing on my list is the their breath mouthwash and I feel like everybody's talking about this so I really don't have to go that deep into detail on it but I do love it you know so definitely recommend don't have to tell you guys too much on that one two more things before we close out the video but 
the second to last thing is the Ariana Grande perfumes that is it I have a couple designer perfumes in my collection and they don't they don't get used as much as the Ariana Grande perfumes and I have not only the perfumes but the spritz too I like to put both of them on and I mostly like to use the spritz before I go to bed because it just makes me like <sighs> sleeping and smelling and stuff, you like, hmm, it smells so good. She put her little, like, angelic voice into those perfumes. They just smell so good. Like, they, they are the perfect scent for me. And I don't even like sweet, you know what I'm saying? I like a sweet musk. You know, I like a, I'm more musky. Not musky, Lord. That sounds bad. I don't stink. <laughs> I mean, like, masculine scents, right? I lean more towards those, but this combination, I love it. I love it. I haven't tried every one of them, but my all-time favorite is the Moonlight one and the Cloud one. So, definitely recommend. And if you get them, don't get them from the store. Get them from Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington. They have them all the time. Just so go ahead and get them there. So, yeah, definitely recommend. The last thing on my list is a wild card, okay? As a wild card because I don't do makeup. I do not do makeup, okay? You see this beat, it's a 10 minute throw it on beat. I'm gonna start getting into learning how to do makeup, but it's not like my thing. But there's a couple of things that like, over the years I've noticed like, oh, this is a hit. And there's this one thing that I just will not keep, like I will always keep it in my, in my makeup arsenal. It's the Ruby Kisses minerals concealer that concealer and i don't use it as a concealer only use it as a contour it's the best i've tried a couple and it's literally the best it gives me like the most natural like concealer finish it's hands down my favorite so i definitely highly recommend it but just specifically as a contour that's it but i ain't got no more makeup tips for y'all i ain't the makeup girly okay but yes that is it thank you guys for watching um uh, comment below any of your favorites i would definitely love to hear anything that you guys you know had in 2022 that you're taking into 2023 i might use it and it might be something i'll take it from 2023 to 2024 you never know so i would really really love to hear it so yeah definitely comment let me know like subscribe and i'll see you later i get in the moment so i feel like baby king